In the last video, you got a glimpse of the calculation dialog. We're going to cover it in a little more depth now. Let's start off with the definition. And if you're familiar with the spreadsheet, calculations do simple things like add, subtract, and divide cells. But they can also manipulate text, make choices such as NIF statement, or even give feedback about Excel itself or the spreadsheet you're using. It's really the same thing for FileMaker. It has all those capabilities and there are hundreds of functions and operators that you can use. They all do the same thing though. They result in a value in a field. That could be a text value, date value, number value, container. All depends on what you want to do. But it works with the fields in your database and it works on one record typically. A calculation will manipulate data from one record and it'll combine the fields and functions and give a result that you want. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take off on our date of birth here and create an age formula here so you know how old the person is. And what I often do is I don't memorize all these you know, functions and how they combine together to make a certain feature. I often go to the web and search for it. You'll find a lot of help out there. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You don't have to know a lot about calculations. You just need to know how to search on the web. So I'm going to type in FileMaker is my first word. And then we're going to type in age and then the word calculation. Perform that find. And you can see the first thing we come across, which I've already clicked on because you can see it's been clicked, is calculating the age of a person's years. Now this is from the FileMaker website very handy and they get years, months, and days. And you can combine these, but all we really want is this one right here for calculating the years. Just know how old the person is. So I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. Come back in here. I'm going to go into Manage Database. Now calculations are in a variety of different places in the, in the database, but the most common, the most familiar for most people is the calculation field. So I'm going to type in age as the name of the field, choose calculation, hit create, and paste my formula with the keyboard command right in there. Now what we're going to get out of this is a number, so we can have a number result, but always remember to choose the right result type. Otherwise you may be surprised. You may have the perfect formula, but the result type will mess it up. Now as you remember from the previous video, we had fields down the left side. Now what we didn't cover was over here, the operators. Well, there's they're pretty simple and straightforward. You have you know comparison operators, plus, minus, divide. We're not going to do all this stuff. We don't have enough time. But you know, I want you to be familiar with the anatomy of this calculation dialog. And you can also see that we have different types of functions in here: text functions, text formatting, and so on. There's so many, it's impossible to really tell you about all of them. But let's go ahead and manipulate this particular function to meet the needs of our database because it's referring to a field called birth date which we don't have. We have date of birth. So I highlighted it and double clicked on it. If you didn't catch that, we do it one more time. Double click on birth date, double click on date of birth and it replaces it. Go to the next one, date of birth. And so what it's going to do is going to do this you know, combination of things to determine how old a person is. And what it does is it tracks the current date the year from the date of birth, but we don't know whether the month that they were born is past or not, so then it compares the month and either adds one year or doesn't add a year. Pretty simple, and if you want to break it apart, go ahead, but you know, you really don't need to know this stuff. But what's important on this one is one of the storage options. We're going to come in here and say, do not store the results. So when you store results, that says that the only time the calculation updates is when you modify one of the fields. Well, that's great. If you modify the date of birth, it'll update it, right? The problem is it won't update unless you make it unstored like we just did because get current date is always changing. It doesn't trigger this calculation to update. What we've done here is say do not store it so anytime the screen refreshes such as changing records or opening it'll go ahead and say I'm going to recalculate this with the current date and that way the, the age is always updating. So if you click OK and it accepts it then you're good to go. We can click OK again, go into layout mode. I'm going to make the date of birth smaller and we'll choose that sample data again just to make it easier to resize it. So you can see we don't need that much room for the date of birth. I do leave a little extra room uh, here in case uh, you know we have a two-digit month. 
or if it's on Windows, the font might be a little bit wider. So be careful of that. Now I could drag on a field like before, but I really don't want to edit this age. It's not a field I can click into and, and type into. It's calculated. So we're going to insert a merge field. Now this is like a merge field that you'd use in your word processor, but I'm just going to use it by itself in a in a text block. And it's pretty simple. It'll just you know, just show you the age value in there. So we'll come in there, put it right there. I can even come in here and type in the word age in front of it, colon, so we know how old they are. And then we put it right in there. Go to browse mode. And you can see how that works perfectly. There's the age. Now, it's a little bit too high for me. I'd like it to be even with that. So I'll just go in there, click on it, and use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move it down. And there, you can see how it matched up with the baseline there. And so that should be perfectly aligned now. Great, and you can see I can't click into it, but I don't need to. I just need to know how old they are. When I send them a message, I need to say, hey, happy birthday, you're 50 years old this year. Happy birthday, you're 51, and so on. So that works perfectly. There's your introduction to calculations, but there's so much more you can do with them. Search on the internet and find out what the possibilities are. You don't always have to know exactly what every function does, but if you know what the possibilities are, then you can start learning.